video how um, I plan to make my own cleats. I have this bronze uh, tubing left over from a shroud's uh, stay and I plugged it with a piece of uh, dowel or I just shoved it in part way so they'll be cut in little, um, little squares. So each one will be uh, basically a small um, little nib on, on the bottom where the screws will pass through. That way I can pass a line through as well. And then uh, I had these hunks of mahogany, fairly thick, that I, I cut and I will cut into a taper. So here's the jig I've rigged just to uh, create the basic shape. All you do is set it down in here, it stops up against in here, and your fingers can go back here and hold it down well away from the blade. Uh, I just have a little jig here. There's a little screw to hold on, hold it. I adjusted the depth with some spacers and uh, just so that that sits on the fence nice and easy uh, so that I'm centered out. So I realized I don't have a long enough drill. I would have had to redo my whole setup and I didn't care to. I wanted to keep things uh, the same. So all I did was grind in flat the triangle of... Um, of a file, of a thin file. Okay, I just have an overturned router and I did these ends first, uh, the ends to make the round, so and then I let it in and pushed it out, but my hand was off on the side. Could do that with keeping a distance and uh, already it has a bit of shape to it, so yay. So they're all looking um, very much like sort of cleats. Okay, so there's one sort of done. Uh, not perfect. I'm, I'm not completely uh, sure this will be the final shape. But that's uh, just roughly homemade, um, homemade uh, cleats. And uh, One more point. The other thing, obviously, you can just loop a rope around here, but it's not going to be 100%. So anyway... We're, 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 we're trying out some things. So I was thinking about it and I'm not hundred percent happy with the, the look. It looks a little bulky to me. So I think if I were to trim it back just a bit, I need to scoop out just a little bit here. She'd, she'd look a lot more, um, neat and tidy. So I'm going to try that and I don't have a spare to practice on. So I got to be careful how much I, I do here. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what I do. Okay, this is better. It's not sitting completely flat, but I like that shape much better. That, uh, I have to clean it up a little more and stain it, but I think that now is a functional cleat. Lots of room for rope under there. I can still sneak rope underneath here. So yeah, now that slipped down a bit, but anyway, you get the idea. Here, all the um, all the cleats have their uh, their bronze uh, rings uh, attached. It seats into the holes that I drilled, and I plugged them with um, some doweling I had, and I left the burnt bottom after sanding them flush on the bottom, and now I just will drill all the way through down the center with the same jig that I had before, and uh, these will be well urethaned. Uh, then um, they'll be ready to uh, use.